Well, returning to our top story this morning, President Obama's make or break speech on health care reform. He had his work cut out for him after a month of raucous town hall meetings. Americans grew increasingly skeptical about the idea of reform. Two people we heard from at these town halls were Katie Abram, who questioned Senator Arlen Specter about the cost of these proposals, and Ben Hersenson, who raised his concerns about rationing and the public option with President Obama. Both of them join me now with their reaction to the president's speech. Folks, good morning to you. Katie, let's start with you. What did you think of the speech last night? Um, you know what? I had mixed emotions about a lot of the things that he said. Um, some things were positive. I think about mm -hmm. uh, the possibility of tort reform that, that I think is a fantastic thing. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm still questioning a lot of things. I question everyone and everything, and he is no exception whatsoever. All right. Uh, we'll get to some of that in just a second. Ben, first of all, uh, let's uh, get your thoughts. Did you hear anything that you liked last night? Uh, Katie said she liked this idea of tort reform. Um, I have an inkling that that's something that you like as well. Y yes, I, I do like the tort reform idea, but uh, I don't think it went far enough. He's mm -hmm. talking about doing some tests out in the, in the field. Uh, I would like to hear uh, what the American Trial Lawyers Association has to say about health care reform. We, we hear an awful lot about the insurance industry. <clears throat> what about <clears throat> the same type of feedback from the lawyers? All right, Kitty, let's go back to you. You said that you had some concerns. What are they? Um, he had said during his speech that he wants uh, choice and competition <clears throat> with the insurance companies. I don't understand how that's going to happen with a nonprofit entity like the government. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the government's going to be able to underprice the insurance companies. Who's going to win out over time? It may not happen in a year or two years, but a number of years down the road, as Obama had said, you know, two years ago, right. in 15 I'll, I'll, or although, 20 years, it I'll, may be a single-payer system. I'll, although he did say that the public option wasn't necessarily a mandatory type of thing. It was just one idea and that maybe there was some other ways. Did that give you any comfort? No, because, you know, I think as we all know, there are a bunch of different bills that are floating around right now. Mm -hmm. I want to see the actual bill. Gotcha. I want to see exactly what he was talking about. And he had some great points last night, but let's question. Question everything from both sides of the aisle. Uh, ben, new polls out show that people aren't necessarily opposed to you know, health care reform. They're just fearful of what it might bring. And one of the things I know that you're concerned about is, is health care rationing. Did the president say anything last night to allay those fears? Uh, no, <clears throat> uh, not at all. Uh, he said that things are really not going to change. Uh, my question would be, if you're going to be adding 30 to 40 million people to an already uh, overburdened health care system, insufficient physicians, uh, nurses, uh, physicians assistants, etc. I would like to know what impact that's going to have when you throw 40 million more people into the system. Mm -hmm. And it tells me that you've got to save money somewhere. And frankly, I think it's going to come with more rationing. So my question would be, let's, what, are, what are the details on this rationing? We have rationing now. I predict there'll be a lot more. And I don't think that the president, frankly, has been that uh, uh, forward and honest with the American people about that particular uh, part uh, of his uh, uh uh, plan. Yeah, you know, but when you say that we have rationing now, Ben, there's no, there's no question that a lot of times bureaucrats do get in the middle, even in private insurance plans of patients and their and their doctors. Katie, I, I want to rewind the clock just a little bit here. You know, no question that many uh, voters, many Americans are fired up about this whole thing. Let's go back to that town hall meeting where you uh, suggested to Arlen Specter that yes, people are paying attention. Oh, absolutely. I'm only 35 years old. I have never been interested in politics. You have awakened the sleeping giant. What are you going to do to restore this country back to what our founders created according to the Constitution? Katie, you briefly captured the attention of the nation with that statement. You became a, a hero to many people as well. Since that time, and particularly with last night's speech, has the president done anything to convince you that now is the time for some form of health care reform? You know, I never said personally that I think health care is in a great situation right now. It's not, and I think we all know that. But we have the best health care in the, in the world. You can get anything done in the United States. When I look at how everything's going, you know, I'm a stay-at-home mom. Mm -hmm. I have a four-year-old. And if you have a little child, I, I'm comparing the government to the way a child is. If you have like a three-year-old and they have their toys, and the toys that the government have are the auto companies, the banks, um, one thing after another, and now they're looking at another toy, the healthcare system. The toys that you already have, you haven't been taken care of. 
why am I going to give you a new toy when you can't right. take care of what you have? And, and Ben, final question to you. What would make you happy to embrace health care reform? What would make me happy is hearing more details, more facts, and, and frankly, like so many others like me have said before, I want to see the numbers. I want to make the numbers uh, work out. And right now, I think we're getting an awful lot in the way of, well, we're going to eliminate waste. Well, define waste for me. What does waste actually uh, mean? Right. And until those uh, questions are answered, I, I think it's going to, my opinion has not changed. Well, it's great to hear opinions from both of you this morning. Ben Hershenson, Katie Abram, thanks so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you.